Hello, AI enthusiasts. Welcome to today's AI News Roundup brought to you by AI. I'm your host, Babs, and I've got the latest updates on artificial intelligence developments from around the world. Let's dive in. Our news for today includes Jim Jordan opens investigation into accusations IRS is using AI to spy on taxpayers en masse. Fox News. UN adopts first global artificial intelligence resolution. Reuters Zeifs. Microsoft's first AI PCs are the Surface Pro 10 and Surface Laptop 6 for businesses, The Verge, and 10% of U.S. workers are in jobs most exposed to artificial intelligence, White House says, CNN. Let's jump into the headlines. House Judiciary Chair Jim Jordan R. Ohio, Harriet Hageman Y.O., are launching an investigation into whether the IRS is using AI technology to improperly surveil American taxpayers. They point to allegations that the IRS's use of AI includes actively monitoring citizens' bank accounts without legal process. The lawmakers demand answers from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and Attorney General Merrick Garland, expressing concerns about pervasive financial surveillance and the violation of civil liberties. The IRS has pledged not to increase audit rates for people making under $400,000 per year. The investigation aims to determine if the IRS is working with other federal agencies for AI-powered warrantless financial surveillance. Fox News reached out to the Treasury, Justice Department, and IRS for comment. The United Nations General Assembly has unanimously adopted the first global resolution on artificial intelligence, encouraging countries to safeguard human rights and protect personal data. The resolution, proposed by the United States and co-sponsored by China and over 120 other nations, also advocates for strengthening privacy policies. The goal is to govern AI rather than let it govern us in order to mitigate risks such as disruption of democratic processes and job losses. The resolution is part of a series of initiatives by governments worldwide to shape AI's development. Europe is ahead of the United States in AI regulation, and the Biden administration has been pressing for AI regulation but has made little headway. The resolution took four months to negotiate and provides a baseline set of principles for AI's development and use. Microsoft is launching the Surface Pro 10 for business and Surface Laptop 6 for business, featuring Intel's latest core ultraprocessors and a neural processing unit, NPU, for AI-powered features in Windows 11. The devices have improved displays, cameras, and keyboards, as well as options for NFC readers and 5G connectivity. They will be sold exclusively to businesses through Microsoft's channels and authorized resellers. The company is also planning a consumer-focused version of the Surface Pro 10 with an OLED display. The devices are designed to be easily serviceable and will be ready for the AI features Microsoft plans to announce at a special event on May 20th. About 10% of U.S. workers are in jobs at high risk of disruption from AI, with workers with less education and lower income being especially exposed. The White House is analyzing the impact of AI on the workforce and discussing readiness with labor unions. The report emphasizes that the ultimate impact of AI may change as the technology evolves. It also highlights that the complexity of a job determines its vulnerability to displacement. While some workers may be affected, AI may also allow humans to focus on other tasks. The report raises concerns about AI exacerbating inequality and warns that policymakers must proactively address this risk. The Biden administration aims to implement policies to lower the risk of AI displacing workers. Thanks for tuning in to today's AI News Daily Roundup. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting AI updates. And if you want to catch up on any news you missed, check out one of the other videos on screen. As always, keep your algorithms sharp and your circuits charged. See you in the next one.